Hey, so remember when I didn't vlog for a month and then I said I would be better about it and then I wasn't? It's, <laughs> it's already been another month and a half since the last time I vlogged. And the last time I vlogged, uh, it was pre-Civil War, pre-X-Men Apocalypse, pre-everything. And now all of that has happened and uh, I just have been procrastinating about vlogging and putting it off as much as possible because of 2016 and the madness that it is and all of the figures that I'm doing this year that I've already started doing and then all the reviews that I'd like to do in between, that probably won't happen anyway. So, where to start? I guess we'll start off by saying, uh, addressing the number one question I know a lot of you guys have right now, X-Men Apocalypse. So, I saw X-Men Apocalypse twice, loved it. Still love Days of Future Past more, but I still loved X-Men Apocalypse. I thought it was great. And um, yeah, uh, I'm not gonna really go into my thoughts on X-Men Apocalypse or Civil War, but I will say that when it comes to the X-Men Apocalypse figures, obviously there wasn't a big showcase. And um, of course the day of, everyone's like, where's the showcase, where's the showcase? I'm like, guys, I can't make another like eight to 10 figures in two weeks. I mean, I say it a lot and I'll say it again, I'm only one Ross. Um, so anyway, if you saw X-Men Apocalypse, and this is not really a spoiler because they posted it like all over social media, um, but the X-Men at the end of the movie, they get their actual like uh, more so comic accurate X-Men suits and they're sweet, they're awesome. Um, and there's some behind the scenes footage that was released of, those sequ of, the, of the sequence where they show them. Um, and those are the outfits I would want to make, not the, like, uh, flight suits that they wear for the third act. Um, and so reference is going to be a problem when making the X-Men Apocalypse figures. But, um, of course, the showcase didn't go up on time. It wasn't, it was never meant to be a release showcase. Um, you know, because I think about midway through the Civil War figures, I was like, if I'm just barely going to make it on time for this with the Civil War figures, there's not a chance X-Men Apocalypse is going to be done on time because like I said, there's just no way I could have done that in two weeks. So what I did, I redirected my focus briefly and I finished up Zoom and Jay Garrick and now um, that showcase is live and Jay Garrick, again, you can put that one in quotes if you've seen The Flash season two. Um, but yeah, Zoom, I finished him after starting on him in like November, I think, of last year and then not actually working on him again until like just this past month, like six months later. Um, but he turned out awesome and the season finale was amazing, by the way. And uh, then, of course, quote unquote, Jay Garrick finished him finally too. And uh, yeah, about that, I guess there's, um, I'll just say this now. If you saw The Flash Season 2, you know the secret character that was revealed, and I will be making him, I just don't know when. Because right now, I have until now, and then like the end of July, to do X-Men Apocalypse and Suicide Squad. Ten figures for X-Men Apocalypse, and eight for Suicide Squad. <laughs> and so, me making 11 figures for Civil War in one month, uh, I'm gonna have to do that again, plus the next month will be another eight figures. So, um, yeah, th this 2016 is absolutely uh, insane. It's just out to total lunacy. Um, so yeah, the X-Men Apocalypse figures, I cannot give you a window as to when they'll be done. I haven't even started on them. I've seen a few comments here and there, like on my photos for uh, Crossbones, Agent 13, and Zemo, who I finished, the spin-off figures. Speaking of when I said I redirected my focus, that was the next thing I did. I decided that if I couldn't do the X-Men Apocalypse figures on time, I would finish these and Zoom and Jay Garrick and just wrap up a few side figures because it's like, I mean, if it's already gonna be incredibly super beyond late, I might as well just loop around and finish those five figures. And that's what I did. Um, Small secret though, Crossbones was not actually finished for that photo. Um, so I'm gonna run into my recording studio and actually show you what I mean because I had the front of him done, but uh, the back and all of that stuff was not finished. And I still have the photo set up down here, by the way. 
Um, so yeah, Crossbones, only one who's not done out of those three. You can see him here. He's all finished. He turned out sweet. And uh, you can see the back is just under detailed and there's nothing on the back of the legs yet. So uh, still going to wrap him up. I can probably do that in about a day or two. And then it'll be showcase time for those three. But then um, I also did Zemo and uh, Zemo turned out pretty sweet. And funny fact about Zemo, um, and personally, I thought he was really great in Civil War. I mean, yes, he, you know, he could have had a bigger role. He could have done something different. He could have had the mask like they did, like they had in the concept art but they didn't end up going with it but even without the actual costume he still was a really great villain and so I decided I'd make him and I wasn't going to but then what happened was I had a reject head that I painted for Lex Luthor that's what this head is and then I looked at it and I'm like oh my god that's Daniel Brule that's Zemo now I have to make him because I already had the head I just went ahead and uh painted the stubble on and made a quick Zima figure out of it, made the made the Winter Soldier activation book and all that stuff. And then Agent 13, Sharon Carter made her as well. And uh, that jacket, uh, yeah, this is one of the more detailed torsos I've painted this past year, her vest that she wears. Yeah, it was pretty complicated uh, to paint, but uh, de definitely, uh, no, you know, nothing I couldn't handle, thankfully. And then she's got a tiny tactical watch and uh, some of my, 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 like my own custom sleeves and some other cool stuff that you'll see in the showcase, fully painted face and all. But yeah, um, so those figures, but um, you might notice that I have a bit of a like Funko Pop obsession now and you can kind of see I just got the new Suicide Squad Pops and uh, it's becoming a bit of an obsession and it's uh, borderline becoming a problem. <laughs> so there's that and then also Disney Infinity got cancelled and I have no interest in the game, never bought the console, but I figured I would still grab my favorite trinity of characters ever, Anakin, Obi-Wan, and Ahsoka because these are super sweet and I just grabbed if you grab those off eBay because I mean the second they become discontinued you know they're gonna become like a lot more expensive and so I was like well better jump on that anyway leaving that room and getting back to more relevant things um, yeah so X-Men Apocalypse no idea when I will have those figures finished they're not done I decided to work on Zoom and Jay Garrick and Crossbones and Zemo and Agent 13 first and uh, now that those are almost done and that showcase will be done fairly soon I'll be able to get started on the X-Men Apocalypse figures and it'll be pretty freaking sweet man but Suicide Squad, I have eight figures planned for that, like I mentioned. Um, so that'll be pretty freaking cool. Gonna be starting on those after I do X-Men Apocalypse. It'll be pretty insane couple of months. And uh, yeah, so Rogue One set pictures, something else I wanna talk about. Um, by the way, I should mention, I did technically start on the X-Men Apocalypse figures, but that's all I did. That's it, so. Yeah, um, but the Rogue One set pictures, <laughs> um, they came out, they look sweet, love it, cannot wait for uh, Force Friday this year, and thankfully there's only five sets coming out, whereas there were seven for The Force Awakens, and if you remember last year, I did a review a day, and that was, that was some labor that week, uh, putting seven reviews together in seven days, so that, uh, that was pretty hectic, um, thankfully only five sets this year, so, uh, it'll be two day, two days, uh, shorter worth of reviews, and that's, that's, uh, that's nice, but um, here's the issue. As much as I wanted to do an analysis video, as much as I wanted to talk about them, they were leaked photos, not official by any means, and so of course Disney and Lucasfilm was like, hey Lego, fix that. And uh, anyone who posted, anyone who unfortunately was not aware of how this works, uh, that posted these Rogue One set pictures, most likely got a copyright strike and or if they posted it to Twitter or their own, you know, their own social media websites, DMCA takedown. So can't really show the Rogue One set pictures anywhere. They're, they're good. It's just not a good idea. Um, it's just a, it's a copyright trap as I was calling it. Um, so they look amazing. Cannot wait to review them, but there's really not much else I can say. And I do not plan on doing a thoughts video and like encouraging people to go find leaked content. So there's that. And Rogue One's doing reshoots, and everyone's freaking out. I don't know why. Every movie does reshoots. But, um, yeah, so then Uncharted 4 happened, and I'm not an... I, well, I guess I am now, but I wasn't an Uncharted fan until my buddy Nick, Epic Nick 100, recommended that I get into it, linked me to some videos to watch to catch up on the franchise, loved it, got into it, loved the characters, thought it was sweet. And as much as I want to make Nathan Drake, because, of course, this is the last game and pretty much my last chance to do it, um, I unfortunately don't have time so what I'm going to do is um, 
there's a there's like a month long window like after Brick Fair. So Brick Fair in Virginia this year is at the start of August, and I'll be there for the entire week. Um, and then I have that pretty much entire month I think free of making figures. So um, that that's at least what I'm. Yeah, I, I think that month is like totally open. So I think that's when I'll make Nathan Drake, and it'll be pretty cool, man. Um, but yeah, I transitioned to every other topic using but. So yeah. And I just said, so yeah, like twice in the same sentence. But Legends of Tomorrow and The Flash. So as I mentioned earlier, the Flash finale was great with, with this dude and how they defeated him and, and, and this dude who, uh, yeah, spoiler about that. Um, but the Flash finale was great. Loved it. Cannot wait for season three, especially toward the end when they revealed the, that they're going to be adapting a pretty major comic storyline that I absolutely love. So that's going to be amazing. Lacking a lot of the characters, of course, from the comics because... DC TV, they don't have access to certain characters, uh, certain major characters that were in the comic storyline that they're going to be adapting for season three, but I still think it'll be amazing regardless. Um, so there's that. And then uh, Legends of Tomorrow. Okay, so at the start of the year, I said, Legends of Tomorrow, those are my side figures. And I wasn't going to be doing things like Crossbones and Zemo and Agent 13 and side figures like that. Um, but then plans changed and I wanted to do them anyway and I never made Legends of Tomorrow figures and I still have like a little container of bodies that I had set up and ready to go and the, my, my like ancient Adam that I made at the start of last year is still in there. Um, so I have no idea when I'll make Legends of Tomorrow figures. I absolutely loved season one and I, the, the finale I thought was especially great. Um, but the problem is... <laughs> Time, 2016, I knew going in that this was going to be the problem, was just, there's no time for everything. So Legends of Tomorrow, as much as I want to go back, and, you know, I would like to make them, there are about three characters that are not going to be showing up in Season 2, if you watch the finale. Um, uh, four, actually. So, as much as I want to go back and make, you know, Season 1's cast... I figure, why not just wait till season two, man? I'm going to be so busy for the rest of the year. I mean, even after X-Men Apocalypse and Suicide Squad, I'm going to be doing, you know, stuff for Rogue One, and I'm going to be doing stuff for, that, that'll be at the end of the year, I'm going to be doing Assassin's Creed. Oh, by the way, the trailer for that came out. Looks amazing. Sounded terrible. Um, so that'll be probably my last showcase of 2016 will be for Assassin's Creed, because that, that actually comes out after Rogue One. Um, and then, yeah... I think that pretty much covers the majority of things I want to talk about, um, but I should address one other thing to those of you who have stayed for the entirety of this vlog. You might have noticed if you saw my Agent 13 preview that I had a variation of Tony Stark in the background of that photo, and I'm pulling it up here. Come on, load, please. And if you see, it's just it's a, it's the variation of Tony Stark where you know Bucky in the movie things go down and Tony doesn't have a suit on him and he's only got the gauntlet and you, know, he, and you know he's only got one hand basically worth of an Iron Man suit and then Bucky escapes and you might notice that I've got a fully painted torso for Bucky here but it's really just a minor set of detail that I painted on that torso and then um, painted glasses for Tony and as much as you'll probably see this figure in the background of the spin-off showcase for Civil War featuring Crossbones and 13 and Zemo um, but it's a funny story about the Bucky I'm gonna run back into my recording studio, AKA room, to show you that Bucky, and the torso is still kind of in shambles right now, the sticky tack that I used to get him in the right pose for that photo is, to, yeah, it's kind of a mess. Um, but that's all it was. It's literally a bright red torso, the inaccurate color. And so that means there's no reason for me to put this in the video. It was Photoshopped to be the right color. It was never meant to be anything. So you might see that, that quick little variation that I did of Tony Stark in the showcase, the spin-off Civil War showcase, but not that Bucky tour, so it's really not much to see. Um, so yeah, Black Series figures. Those are a pain in the ass to hunt down. I think that's it, though. Um, I'm going to go, and I do want to say, guys, I'm not going to say that I'm going to be vlogging again soon because, I mean... <laughs> Every time I say that, I can't keep that promise, man. I, I, so I'm not going to say that I'm going to be vlogging soon because of how busy I'm about to be with X-Men Apocalypse and Suicide Squad. So what I will tell you, check out Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. I'm not, I don't just say it for no reason. That's where I post very frequently. That's where you'll see the first teasers, the first previews, the first everything on those 
social media platforms, man. So, I mean, if you do want to keep up, then that's the place to be. Otherwise, I will vlog when I can. And thankfully, one of those days was today, and I finally stopped procrastinating, and I did it. So, yeah. Anyway, that's it, guys. Hopefully, I don't, next time I talk to you guys verbally on this channel, it won't be in like another month and a half, two months. <laughs> okay. I think I'm going to end it there. And uh, see you next time. All right. Bye. That was terrible. Bye.